This is Homeschool Arcade, helping educators and students thrive. Welcome to our new botany series. In this video, we're going to be learning about the main parts of typical plants and how they help a plant to function. So, let's get to it. So when we think about the structure of a plant, it's important to remember that each part plays a very important role in helping it to survive and thrive. If we go back to the basics, in order to survive, a plant needs several things. It needs, well, air, water, sunlight, and soil or something to attach itself to. And each part of a plant helps it to get one of these things. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss six main parts and purposes of vascular plants, which are the larger typical plants you probably think of first when I say the word plant. But for a quick video on vascular versus non-vascular plants, check out this link. The main parts we'll briefly learn about today are roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and finally seeds. So the first main part is roots. Now, roots are actually the first part of a plant to make its way out of the seed. They grow down or out into soil or another surface. And the main purpose of roots is to anchor and support the plant. Helps it to absorb water and minerals, and they help it to store nutrients or food for the plant. Now, check out these pictures to see some different kinds of roots. Now the second part of plants are the stems. As you can imagine, stems are important in supporting a plant. They also help a plant to get sunlight while also holding on to the leaves. And stems are also crucial in transporting nutrients all around the plant. And they often have special tissues that transport nutrients called xylem and phloem. Now we hope to have a video discussing these in more detail in the future. So Subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Now, stems come in all shapes and sizes. Some are green and soft like grasses and herbs, and others are large and woody like shrubs and trees. Now, check out some of these other pictures of some different stems. number one produced crop in the U.S. There's over 90 million acres of it. And I thought this much corn was a lot. Yeah. The third main part of a plant are leaves. Now, leaves are essential for a plant's survival as they help make food that the plant needs. It is made in a complicated process called photosynthesis. In very simple terms, Photosynthesis is when the leaves take energy from sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into food. Now the food is then transported to other parts of the plant. Just like stems, leaves come in large varieties of shapes and sizes. Here, let's check some out. The fourth main part of a plant are, well, flowers. Now, it's important to note that not all plants have flowers, but they do usually have seeds or another way to reproduce, such as spores. But flowers are used to help reproduce in some types of plants. They're essentially like a reproductive organ. Now, pollen in flowers is used to fertilize the egg of its own plant or another plant to create seeds. This process is called pollination. The smells and colors of a flower can be very important to attracting insects and birds and other pollinators to help the plant cross-pollinate with other plants. Here, come see some pictures of some flowers. The 
The fifth major part of a plant are fruits. Now, again, not all plants have fruits, but in the plants in which they do exist, they play a very important role in reproduction. Fruits are important in protecting the seeds, and then they can also help to spread them. And the fruits can attract animals, which eat the fruit, and then they go somewhere else, and then the seeds get spread to another area through their feces. And let's look at some different fruits. Lastly, let's talk about seeds. Now, seeds are many plants' main mode of reproduction. Seeds from flowers and fruits are dispersed to other areas, and they can move by gravity or wind or animals and in many different ways. Now, when a seed finds a suitable place, it is able to grow into a new plant, and seeds also come in a variety of shapes and sizes. And here's some pictures of some for you. And with that, now you know a bit about the main parts of a plant and how these parts help the plants to survive. If you like this content, don't forget to click like and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any of the content we have coming this way on botany. So you all have a good one.